Welcome to this lesson on hardware tools commonly used in cybersecurity and hacking. In this session, we'll explore some of the most powerful tools that cybersecurity professionals and ethical hackers use to secure systems and identify vulnerabilities. By understanding these tools, you'll gain insight into their functions and how they fit into a cybersecurity workflow. USB Rubber Ducky The USB Rubber Ducky looks like an ordinary USB flash drive, but it emulates a keyboard and executes pre-programmed keystroke sequences at lightning speed. Hackers use this to automate attacks, such as injecting malicious code or executing commands. It can, for example, launch a terminal and retrieve sensitive data within seconds. Security testers use it to evaluate how quickly unauthorized devices can compromise systems and suggest restrictions on USB device usage. LAN Turtle This covert device looks like a USB Ethernet adapter, but is a network penetration testing tool. It allows attackers to create backdoors into networks, gather intelligence, and execute man-in-the-middle attacks. Plugging it into a system can grant remote access to an internal network. Penetration testers use this to demonstrate how unsecured ports and devices can lead to network breaches. Wi-Fi Pineapple The Wi-Fi Pineapple is highly effective for wireless penetration testing. It's used to set up rogue access points, conduct man-in-the-middle attacks, and intercept data. Hackers might use it to steal credentials from unsuspecting users on public Wi-Fi. Professionals use it to identify vulnerabilities in wireless networks and recommend stronger encryption or authentication protocols. Hack RF1. This software-defined radio SDR device can transmit and receive signals across a wide frequency range. Hackers use it to analyze and manipulate wireless communications, such as intercepting Bluetooth signals or decoding radio transmissions. Cybersecurity teams use this to test wireless signal security, ensuring that sensitive communications are protected. Proxmark 3. An advanced RFID tool, the Proxmark 3 is used to read, write, and clone RFID cards. Attackers might use it to bypass access control systems by cloning employee badges or other RFID-based keys. It's used in physical security audits to evaluate the resilience of access control systems and suggest improvements like encrypted RFID systems. Bash Bunny, a multifunctional USB attack tool, the Bash Bunny is designed for advanced payload delivery. With the ability to emulate USB devices, it can deliver malware, steal data, or execute pre-programmed commands. Penetration testers use it to simulate complex attacks and educate organizations on the risks of leaving USB ports exposed. Alpha Network Adapter This high-gain wireless adapter is commonly used in Wi-Fi penetration testing. Attackers use it to intercept Wi-Fi traffic, de-authenticate users, or crack wireless passwords. Ethical hackers use it for wireless security assessments to test encryption, strength, and network access policies. Raspberry Pi The Raspberry Pi is a small, affordable computer that serves as a portable hacking platform. When loaded with tools like Kali Linux, it can perform various attacks, including network reconnaissance and password cracking. Ethical hackers favor it for its lightweight and customizable design during penetration testing. Keygrabber, a hardware keylogger that records every keystroke from a connected keyboard. Hackers use it to capture sensitive information, such as passwords and credit card numbers. Security professionals use keyloggers to demonstrate risks associated with physical device access and recommend endpoint security measures. USB Kill, a USB device designed to test hardware resilience by delivering high voltage pulses. Attackers use it to physically disable systems by damaging their hardware through USB ports. Security teams use it to assess the durability of hardware and recommend protections like USB port blockers. In this lesson, we've covered some of the most widely used hardware tools in cybersecurity and hacking. These tools themselves are neither ethical nor unethical. It's how they're used that defines their role. Ethical hackers use them responsibly to strengthen security systems, while attackers may exploit them maliciously. Understanding these devices will help you think like a hacker while acting like a defender. In the next lesson, we'll dive into software tools used alongside these hardware devices.